There we go. Hi. Welcome to the Austrian Grand Prix for the F1 2021 My Team Career Mode episode. This is number eight in season one. If you did miss out on the previous episode in France, be sure to check that video out before you see this one. Actually, it's up. It's race number seven. All right. Gonna go to quick practice, make it easier. Track allocation, score 225. Sorry if you don't need to hear that. Hmm. Wow, a lot of failures for some reason. All right. That was our truck allocations, and then we're gonna do the. Wow, that failed. So. That's really not good if you're gonna fail shit for us. I think another thing is we gotta do our, um... We gotta fix something else. So. Uh, I think if we don't take part in qualifying, we'll probably just start at the back, because I know the, uh, engine's gonna be worn, and on a track like this, that's going to be a major concern. Okay, so let's do ERS. Okay, ERS is done. Now let's work on race pace. Don't think I have enough to do. That for FP2, we'll skip that. The rest of it we'll do in FP3, and then we'll get into qualifying, and then we'll change the power unit. By the way, coming up this weekend is going to be the first episode of Breaking Point that I'll be streaming here on Twitch. Unless you're watching this on YouTube, then... Alright, we were on Race Pace. So, start Race Pace. Crap. You gotta be kidding me with all these freaking failures. Wow, really? Wow, we're not going to get any points. That's lame. Only one out of five. That's not good for race pace. That's concerning me going into the race. If we don't have race pace, we, have, we are in trouble. Big trouble. So let's see, 500, he got 700, so that's 1263. I might actually start saving some upgrades for the, uh... Yeah, we'll be at level 10 after qualifying's done. Speaking of qualifying, we're about to get into qualifying. Here in Austria. I heard it's going to be raining, so we're definitely going to have to use a free choice. We'll all get a free choice of tire. Now, how's our engine look? Oh, our engine at 79. 80. Oh, boy. With our engine overheating, that's starting to alarm me. 1263. Yeah, we're going to end up saving some resource points. 
All right, let's get into qualifying, and then we're going to get into the race and then change the power unit. That way we start the back of the grid. So here we are in Spielberg for the seventh race of the season for season one. The car is really going to be off pace. We just don't have any speed. Welcome to Spielberg, y'all. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to take an engine penalty because I just saw saw those um 70s and all that, that's not gonna help us survive this race. Even if we don't get into Q2, I know we're gonna start the back, so... Hopefully Honda can give us some better, um... power units to help us out. That was a really scruffy lap. 107.284. That's really not a good first lap. That was a really scruffy lap. That was a okay second lap, but that's probably going to put us somewhere in the bottom six. That was really a scruffy first lap. Daniel Ricardo leads the session. Yeah, I think we're going to be the slowest or on the back row of the grid. I kind of expected that. Because we still have some heavy hitters that could knock us out of qualifying. So far yep, off. we're, out of, we're in the danger zone. So we're currently P17. We're about to be down to P21. See if I can do something. And yeah, see if we can try to get some pace out of the car. As we're now into the danger zone. Just over 10 minutes time. Rain in 10 minutes. Just found at least a tenth of a second. Found 3.5. 
three tens through the first sector, but we're starting to lose a lot of pace in the car. I don't know why we're losing pace. I mean, We're in the green, so we just set a personal best in sector two. Try, we're just pushing wide, trying to get any speed, and we don't improve. I think it's just, I think it's the power unit that's, that's holding us up. Because we were good in the first two sectors, and then. It just, we just lost pace. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, see, we make the corner good, but then we're losing pace. I don't understand. Uh, gonna be a pretty not good racing for us tomorrow, or going in the race coming up. And with us having to take an engine penalty for the second time this season. And yet we lost. Yeah, we're not going to improve that lap, so we're going to end up taking the penalty. So that means, unfortunately, for the umpteen time in a row, after Canada... We're expecting rain in around 10 to 15 minutes. Let's take the penalty. We're not going to go back out and make a lap. So, we are basically out of qualifying. So, not good. Not good. If we're just going to be killed on pace and we just have no pace. Let's see. Wow, Yuki Sonoda was fastest. That's the big. That's a big surprise. And we're going to end up on the back row and Lungard out qualifies us. Plus we're already starting last anyway, so GG the Lungard. Um looks like Raikkonen out qualified Giovinazzi again. Russell out qualifies Latifi. And who out qualif Oh, and Ocon out qualified Alonso. Along with Nikita Mazepin, out qualified Mick Schumacher. That's embarrassing. We're getting beat by Nikita Mazepin. Really embarrassing, but man, looking at that. Three seconds off the pace. My God. Jesus Christ. Sonoda did a 62 5. We did a 66 5. That tells you how. That tells you how bad we're off the pace by nearly four seconds. Good grief. But I know with this brand new power unit in the car and we have to start at the back, then there you go. So. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Oh, it was not a good day today when you get beat by your teammate. Will this be a problem tomorrow? How do you feel the competition is for you this season? Great. Well, that's everything. That's now concerning now that you're like 3.7 seconds off the pace with the car just not looking like it's going to be competitive. But yeah, that's all the car has. That's that's actually our worst. That's actually the worst qualifying we've had this season. And Sonata, no doubt, is going to win. And then Lungard loses, whatchamacallit, for some reason. We lose Team Acclaim. That's not good. If things just couldn't get any worse for our team, it just did. Plus, we've now been out-qualified by Lungard for the third time this season. That's We've, we've been out-qualified more times by our teammate than the then combined in the F1 2020 my team career mode. What does that tell you? Tough luck there. It's not quite where we'd want to be on the grid, but chin up, it's not the end of the world. 
Good news from the team over the chassis department, boss. The recent upgrades facility. Well, that's good news to hear. Uh, this is a minor upgrade. Let's go ahead and get that on the car. That'll also be here for the Hungarian Grand Prix. See if we have anything else. Okay, the department was reached. If you're hearing somebody's phone going off, I do apologize. It's not from me. So the roll dampers will be here for the Hungarian Grand Prix. A couple of uh, other upgrades will be here. So with that, that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six upgrades on the way. Most of them will be already here for Silverstone, barring if it fails. Some of them will be ready for the Hungarian Grand Prix. So, and of course we get a free choice of tire because we did not get into Q3. Let's see where this is going to be for the race for us today. Good afternoon and welcome to Spielberg and to a circuit that in one form or another has held every Austrian Grand Prix of the championship except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost a bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. If anything, the stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the 10 corners of this high speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three, and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lando Norris will lead us away from the position. And it's Lewis Hamilton. Lando Norris on the pole. What the hell is this Grand Prix? Ricardo, Charles Leclerc, and Verstappen. Perez, what Bethel, the hell Gassi, are we in for? Stroll, Sainz, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. So Sainz had a grid penalty, but he outqualified Leclerc, okay. Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, Esteban Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty. And Nicholas Latifi, Ocon had a grid penalty. Giovinazzi, Lundgaard, Fernando Alonso, and Thomas. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Yeah, we got our work cut out. A couple of things to mention before we start racing. Norris out qualifies Ricardo. Hamilton out qualifies Bottas. Sainz out qualifies Leclerc. Verstappen out qualifies Checo. Seb out qualifies Stroll. Gasly out qualifies Sonoda. And pretty much about it. Our teammate moved up a spot, so that's good. Wow, some of us, some of them are on medium tires. Like, the top seven are on med. Eight of the top ten are starting on medium. Sonoda, uh, the two McLarens, the two Mercedes, uh, the two Ferraris, the two Red Bulls, Aston Martin, Vettel is on soft, same with Gasly. Um... Who else is on soft? Latifi's on soft, our teammates on soft, Alonzo's on soft, and we're on soft. Rather be on soft than anyway. Let's go to the race strategy and let's change up our fuel. So our car is not overweight. So we're gonna do soft 
the two stop soft tires and then we'll go medium tire at the end of the race and another dry race once again this is the second time in a row we've had rain in qualifying and then we end up getting a free choice of tire all right this is going to be pretty bad before we start the race I'm gonna get my water over here Let's get this race underway, and then we'll get ready for the British GP after that. So, here we go. Lights out, and away we go. Wow, good start for our teammate Lungard. Lungard just had a kill of a start. But here we come, diving up the inside. We're gonna get right behind. Oh, we're three wide. We just made contact with an Alpine and, oh, Jovi just cut us off for no reason. That was Jovanazzi's fault because he really pinched us. We went three wide, that was kind of dangerous. Get one of the Haas cars. Shit. Had to jump on the outside just to not run the back of Mazepin. And there's the first lap of 71 in the books. Now we're gonna go on the outside of uh, Nikita. He squeezed us off. Work. That brings you up a place. So we're around Nikita. Now we can work on Mick. And Mick wouldn't let us have the line. He just shut the door at the last second. Should have given us a little bit of more room. If we don't get any incidents, we'll be okay. Like any more incidents between now and then. As we just got around the Haas of Mick Schumacher, now we're up to P16. As we're about to complete the second lap of the 71 lap main event. Need to quit running wide through that corner. Now we're behind the two Williams cars. set up Latifi for this next corner. Actually, we're going to set him up for turn one. Look at that. Round the outside. We just hit a bold move on Latifi. Latifi just got caught off guard. Annie and I just got around. That was a good pass on the outside. And now we're catching... George Russell, so we're starting to really make up some ground here. Second time this season we've had to take an engine penalty, but... You know, we'll be fine. 
car feels really... I don't know if the car just don't feel squishy about it, but... Oh, well. Catching George Russell here. Oh, I was going to take a peek underneath George, but thought better of it. Oh, but we got a great exit off this corner. And we're going to have the line for this for this right-hander. And we got it, despite running a little bit wide. George does give us a little bit of room for us to get... That was not a collision with George. We gave, a, we gave Russell a little bit of room, so... I don't know why the steward said that was a collision when that was not. Now we're in DRS range. Now we're catching Kimmy. Where is he going to go? He's going to force us around the outside. Damage to the side pods. Okay. Now I was trying to set up a... See where we're going to set up Raikkonen. Man, we have just got a lot of speed. We're going to go the... We're going to go the outside and we just... We just blitzkrieg Raikkonen. P13. Yep. This is probably not an unlikely P13, but Riken it's coming back around the outside. Riken and couldn't make the move on us. Yeah, Raikkonen tried to go around the outside, but he couldn't. And now he's got DRS. The problem is Raikkonen's on medium tires. We're on soft. Got a yellow flag in the back. Not sure. The race. Oh, that's Giovinazzi. He's out of the race. So Antonio Giovinazzi is the first victim out of the Austrian GP for the F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. That's not a good, that's a tough break. Okay, gap ahead is 2.6 seconds. Yeah, next car ahead of us is Sainz. Of course, we got out of Raikkonen's DRS, so that's good. And that caution, caution. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Oh, had to get out of the throttle a little bit because I was starting to get a little tight. Of course, with no damage so far on the car, we're doing very good. Behind is 7.5 seconds.
that crap hit the grass. The only way we're going to get into the points is if we have some drivers really struggling. lap of this race 71 laps of this Austrian GP and of course this is one of our shortest races shortest uh, courses we go to on the calendar this season oh made a mistake got on the curve trying to catch science and then lost the back of the car and now we're gonna get killed on the straightaway and Kimmy's gonna start catching up to us Getting really too greedy with that curve on the uh, in turn three. Getting super greedy. But the thing is, the soft tires are going to start going away a lot quicker on our car. You know, those on mediums, you know, they they got a good further stint. Okay, you're dropping a few tenths per lap to the car ahead. They're edging away. <coughs> That's because we don't have any pace. Got no straight line speed. Time to the car behind. Keep pushing. Yeah, we just don't have pace in the car. The only way we're going to get points is if some, some of the big names drop out of the race. That would be... The gap to the car ahead is 2.4 seconds. God, McLaren taking the first pole. First time a Mercedes did not win the pole this season. And McLaren, by the way, came in as the constructors' leaders entering this race. So that really tells you how big of a surprise it's for them taking a pole like this. Sorry, I had a pause. Otherwise, it'd be going off the track. It was a drink of water I'm having. Got a nice gap to Kimmy, so.
Pretty soon the drivers that started the race on the soft tires will make their first pit stop. And we'll be getting close to making ours in about nine laps from now. seconds. Want to see how far we can go on this on this set of tires, if you know what I mean. I know Annie kind of disappointed Ormy Bear at France last race. So we're hoping that she doesn't disappoint Ormy Bear this time. Yeah, but we're gonna pull it. We're doing a two stop race because of the fact that, you know, we're gonna have. Gonna put another set of soft tires on, see how the car handles, and then we'll go mediums to the end. That's, I think, the strat. Yeah, that's the strategy we have for. We just wanna have fresher tires towards the end of the stint, so. Whoa, Annie! Yeah, I was trying to get off the curb, overcorrected, got in the gravel. That's gonna cost us some time. I mean, we do have a chance to get points. I mean, the last couple of races, we got involved in the first incident, and we ended up finishing right around 13 14th ish but you know with no damage to the car we have a good chance to possibly score points one of my roommates that just woke up. That was Steven. Okay, gap ahead is 2.8 seconds. I thought at first was CJ. It was actually Steven who was up.
getting some tire grip around now. Let's see if we can try to catch this train right up here. Because everybody that started on the medium tires, they can go a little bit further in the stint. We're going to start losing grip very soon. the stops some of them that start on the medium tires have already pitted for the soft tires gap to teammate behind is 19.9 seconds something itching in the back of my ear. I need to tell my house manager that I made a mistake last night where I locked, locked my room and I left my keys in there so I can't get my keys. So Jack can unlock Lock, unlock my room, that would be great. Because I don't have my keys. My keys are actually still in my work pants. That I need to pull out. And I forgot to do that last night. And I locked the door, so that was like my bad. Okay, you're in the top ten. not gonna pit this slap I'm gonna wait until like car feels good just how's our wear 48 yeah I'll box next lap I'm gonna box the second lap around this 
lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Confirmed. We'll receive you at the end of this lap. my cut picker ready go, 2.5 good stop lads only one stop to go one stop left in this strategy and here comes our teammate Christian into the pit in the Christian in the pits that was perfect timing for our teammate to come into the pits So we end up double stacking as a result, so... Didn't lose a lot of time. I expected we were going to be back in P13, so... So we didn't lose a lot of time in the stop. That's pretty much where we expected. Came in tenth, we're out in thirteenth, but we're on fresher tires. The car in front is two point zero seconds. Our gap behind is two point one seconds. mistake back there that's Raikkonen who just came into the pits so I'll probably be back around the points pain position they're trying to do this on the two stopper now we're up to P9 That's a personal best in sector one. Made a little mistake in three, but that's okay. Of course, we still need to use our two sets. We're probably gonna go to the medium tire to go to the end of the race. So the personal best in sector two. Car feels good. Tires nice and good. Really feeling confident we can get some points today. Car feels just good. I mean, like I said, if we didn't have the damage in the last couple of races, we could have gotten some points on there. And we also set the fastest lap of the race on the soft tires so we have a very quick car the gap to the car ahead is 3.9 seconds a 108 flat that's our fastest lap of the race A 
And then Ricardo takes it away. is 2.1 seconds. You're catching the car ahead by around 5 tenths a lap.
think Seb's struggling on those mediums. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Uh oh. Let's get back up to racing speed. That's probably one of the Ferraris that's out of the race. That might have been Sainz. Come on, let's get Vettel. Gonna see where is he gonna go? Where is he gonna go? We're gonna go the outside. Guy bomb Sebastian Vettel, and Annie's made it around Seb. What a beautiful overtake. Was that science you had a problem? I think science or somebody was having an issue. I think it was Sainz because he's dropped out of the points. Probably Sainz had a spin or something like that because I saw some skid marks just coming out of that corner we just went past. That's a shame. Okay, gap ahead is 5.8 seconds. Now Sebastian Vettel is going to make a move on us. We're going to go defensively. That little mistake we made earlier. Yeah, there's the skid marks there. Yeah, set. Science probably got Science probably spun out. So what happened is we're past the halfway mark here in the Austrian GP. About to start lap 37 of 71. The gap to the car ahead is increasing by a few tenths per lap. The car behind is gaining on you by five tenths a lap. That's because we're on the soft tires. He's on the medium tires.
Hmm. Of course, we still got one more stop to go in this race. This is Mazepin. Now Mazepin sees us coming. He'll move out of the way for both me and Sebastian. Or both Annie and Sebastian, I should say. Seb got around it. Mazepin without much of a problem. Gap to car in front is 6.8 seconds. We're going to go defensively. Up, oh, make Schumacher's out. So Mick Schumacher's now out of this race. Lungard's up to 18th, so that's good. He's in the middle of a William sandwich. Yellow flag. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. And Leclerc's in. Green flag. Now Leclerc's on the soft tires. Possibly that's good enough to go to the end of the race. Sebastian's got a run on us. Can we get the crisscross taken care of? Yes, we do. We're up to P7 with a stop to go. Seb just hit us. I was trying to make the apex, but Seb just completely hit us. Yeah, Seb hit us right there. What happened was I was trying to make the we were trying to make the corner, but Now we're going side by side. Somebody's going to have to lift. Yep, Seb had to come to pit road. Yeah, he hit us. Yeah, that was on Seb. I don't know if that was on us or Seb, but... To be fair, we shouldn't be giving Seb that much room, if you know what I mean. But, oh well. End result, we had the incident, and that's pretty much all you can say, so. How bad did it do? How bad is the car? Ah, the car's not too bad. Okay. I was a little concerned it did something to the car, but. Charles Leclerc is catching us, but that's because he's on fresher tires than we are, and we have to use. We're going to go to the medium tire to go to the end of the race. Well, when's our next stop? Lap 44. Okay, we're getting close to that window. Okay. I was like, when is our next pit stop? And I'm like, we're coming up to it. And it's like, okay. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the medium. 
Rangers. Charles Leclerc just set the fastest lap of the race. Interesting, we're trying to make this two-stop strategy work and probably get into the points. But we got a nice gap on 10, so we should be all right to go ahead and get some points for the day. Because we came in this race tied with Alpha Tauri. And where's Alpha Tauri running? Gasly's 10th. Sonoda's 12th. So we might actually pull away a little bit from uh, Alpha Tauri in the Constructors' Championship. And we might stay in the top 10 in the Drivers' Championship after this race. No tight concerns at the moment. Just focus on the driving. The longer we stay out, the longer we're going to be a goose. Because Leclerc is already reeling us. Yeah, that's because he's on fresh tires. We're on old tires. Might go ahead and box. We're gonna box this slap coming up, so. And then that's the tire we're gonna go to the end is the mediums. We pit now, then we'll be all right. The gap to the car ahead is 10 .0 Yellow, 0 seconds. local yellow down off turn number one. Somebody has gone off. Somebody's going off in turn one. I saw a local. Whoops. I saw a local yellow down in turn number one. Not sure who that was. Oh, it's one of the Alpines. That's Ocon. Ocon just had a spin in turn number one. I think Ocon's gotten going. Push now. We're boxing this lap. And Leclerc just said another fastest lap of the race, but yeah, it's been Ocon spun in turn one. He has gotten going again. Understood. Stopping this lap. Yeah, well, we're not gonna get. We just need a flawless stop from the boys. Science is up to ninth. As of now, we would get some big points on Alpha Tauri in the constructors, which is really going to do our constructors' hopes a lot of good. One point eight. Good stop, boys. Pit strategy complete. That's a good stop. Very good job, guys. Good pit stop. One point eight. Two point five on the first stop. Our pit crew is on the ball today. Now we made it easier for our teammate Christian Lungard. Now we're outside the points, but now we're on fresher tires than than anybody in front of us. So we have a chance to get some points today. Get these tires quickly up the temperature to begin to get quicker. 
Because now we're really catching the the two Alpha Tauris. Just set our purse just set a purple sector two time. Oh Sonoda got held up by Gasly. That's good news for us. Gasly just did us a favor. What happened was Sonoda was trying to pass his teammate. He gets held up. And Sonoda's now a sitting duck. And we just dive on the inside. We just got Yuki Sonoda just like that. We'll take it. As Mazepin will get out of the way for us. Christian's in for his pit stop, his final stop of the race. That's some good overtaking we're doing. Now we're catching science. Now science knows he's in trouble because you know we're on fresher tires than him. We'll catch Leclerc, because once his tires start to go away, our tires going to start clicking in. Oh, Latifi just held up signs. Oh, could Nicholas Latifi help us? Yes, he did, because we just split. We just got around signs, courtesy of Nicholas Latifi. Ha <laughs> ha! Nicholas Latifi held up Carlos Sainz, just did us a favor, and we're up to P8 as a result. Thank you, Latifi. I'll give you a C-word card later. The C-word holiday card. Our gap to the car in front is 14.3 seconds. Yeah. Now we just got a ride for the rest of this race. This is really going to help us in the constructors. Nice run for us for once. Oh, I bet Science was not happy with Nicholas Latifi. Science's misfortunes just became our fortunes.
gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. Okay, 15 second gap to the next car. Checo's in the pits.
8.4 seconds. Hi, Jack.
check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy. Leclerc had a bit. Yeah, that contact he made with us. Our gap to the car in front is 11.5 seconds. How's the damage? Okay, the car behind is catching you by five tenths a lap. Five tenths. Car's okay. car really does not want to turn. Can I survive a 10 lap to the end? We'll see. Cause I just took, I just took Leclerc out of the points. Car's okay, I'm just trying to get this car to the end. seconds. Cars getting all over the place. Can I get it home in time? We'll see. Just trying to keep Sebastian at bay.
front is 20.0 seconds. Trying to hold off Sebastian for the last five laps. Oh, yeah. It's really gonna hurt Alpha Tower in the Constructors Championship. Because, <laughs> like I said earlier in this race, we came in this race tied with them for six in the Constructors. And with where we are running right now, we'll be ahead of both. We ahead of Alpha Tower and the constructors. As far as the drivers' championships concerned, we'll still be in the top ten of the points. Oh yeah. But I just gotta survive. We just gotta survive another four laps of this race. Need to ask Jack before he takes you guys to work if he can come unlock my door because I accidentally left my keys in in my room and locked the door on accident. Wow. Yes, that was an amateur move on me. I'll he'll probably take care of that because I'm gonna put my stuff out here. By the way, were you? By the way, were you sharing my Oreos that I bought the other day? No, I just had. I had some. Oh. I then didn't I didn't. I don't know what happened to my mac and cheese I bought the other day at the store. I don't either. I didn't have none of that. Either. I'm so assuming I CJ had something to do with it. Because I had four deals of um of uh. Mac and cheese from uh, Panera Bread, and they're all gone. Yeah, I saw them having some for lunch yesterday. Oh. Wait, you you had some from yesterday? No, I didn't. It eat is it. 18 point nine so seconds. They were like, "What are you eating? What are you eating there, CJ?" And he's like, "Mac and cheese." Why can he not fucking come talk to me about this? Because now he just ruined my lunch that I was going to have. And it was not his to begin with. I know. Now I'm pissed at him. Yeah, I would, I would have asked you about the cookies, but you were asleep. I didn't want to wake you up. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm, I now CJ's not, no, CJ's probably pissed at me because I told him he's not allowed to have my mac and cheese. Then he wants to go in there stealing my fucking mac and cheese out of my fucking room. Yeah, I, they're like, because, yeah, because Brittany asked him yesterday, what do you eat? He's about to get smacked. Yeah, and, I, and then you wouldn't believe what I said to him. You know, your brain is a mac and cheese. And I, was be, and I was about to be like, isn't that Daniels? Uh, and I'm thinking in the back of my mind, ooh, Daniels gonna be pissed. But does CJ give a shit? Fuck no. no. Out of your own yeah, that was my lunch I was going to have, and thanks to him, he screwed it. He's like, I'm glad I stole Danny's food. Now I'm gonna make him angry. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, I'll buy you some when I get paid. And I just went to Crest. That's where I got that crap from, is Crest. I know, I'll buy you some at Brom's. They got some at Brom's. Yeah, it was like four deals I bought. I'll get you like two deals. Yeah, because I don't allow anyone to go in my room without my permission. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I only took a couple of those peanut butter cookies. I just wanted to try it. And they were Oreo bought as we just lost the spot to science. I think we're struggling for grip. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Leclerc is back. Leclerc. Oh, shells red, white. Oh, we crashed! Oh no! He just crashed into somebody! That was last stroll! Go 
God damn, George Russell's out! Damn, LeClaire, did you have to fucking drive aggressively? Yeah, LeClaire, what the fuck were you doing driving a fucking aggressive, you fucking pervert? <laughs> now he's off in the gravel. That's what he gets. Yeah, for now on when I buy mac and cheese from... Yes. They're not allowed... CJ's not allowed to have any. Yeah. Like, I mean, I fucking have... Hamilton, you fucking dick! Yeah, I mean, the ones you had with the bread, bread crumbs on it, I am. Yeah, the Panera Bread one is off with limits, because that's my lunch. And you were hardly eating it, so I ate meat. I thought I could have a God time. damn it, LeClaire. I know, LeClaire is just crashing into you. Fucking LeClaire being a dick. Now CJ's on my shit list. Yeah. Oh! Ricardo just got her out! God damn! Yeah, I'm just hey, how about it? Go fuck yourself! I just gave Daddy Ricardo the win! Uh. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah, because the Panera Bread mac and cheese is for me. I didn't ask CJ to go into my room and steal them. Yeah. But CJ's like, like I just want to make you angry. I don't care. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm just going to smack him and say, why'd you steal my mac and cheese without my permission? Exactly. Now you pissed me off. Because that was my lunch I was going to have today. Yeah, because I can't remember. P9. Uh, <sighs> fucking LeClaire acting like an asshole. Go figure. We get driver of the day. Yeah, I saw that. I said, this must be new Oreos. That's it, that's for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Austria. And a truly magnificent drive to hang on and take the win. He had some of those peanut butter chocolate chip mm -hmm. And he told him those are my favorite. And I was like, hey, 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 get me <laughs> If I go pick up CJ, I'm about to confront him in front of God and everybody. And CJ is like, well, I'm not taking you. Congratulations, you just turned on my fucking bitch switch. And I'm really happy to see them there on the top step of the podium. You're on my good list. I'm like, whatever, dude. You, you, you have a good list. <laughs> yeah, but I knew you were in a pissed off mood last night from work, so I didn't mess with you. Yeah, now I'm angry at CJ. Mm -hmm. And if CJ's like, what did I do? I heard what you did. You took my mac and cheese without my permission. Now you're going to now you're going to so get it. It's time to see how this result uh, affects yeah, the drivers championship. Movie, it wasn't the best weekend for our And teachers like I don't care. The advantage at the top yeah. has been reduced. I mean, Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, eating, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it to Thomas. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the constructors championship. McLaren continue to Norris got four. As they make their way up the standings, well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.
Mm. USA got 10 gold medals in the Bruh. Olympic Games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No penalty for Leclerc. Yeah. Yeah. Next time I buy Panera Bread, keep it away from CJ because. Yeah. And she's like, no, it was me. It's like, yeah, because I spent 70-something dollars of groceries for me, nobody else but me. And now CJ owes me most of my groceries. I should get my own food stamps. Mm-hmm. Then I can start buying my own groceries. today, didn't you? Appreciate your time. All right. Well, good news is P9 is good, but I think we were just losing, we were just losing grip on the tires and all that. No, the battery is not low. You stupid phone. Mm -hmm. Your controller. My controller is being stupid again. You guys saying the battery is low? When it's not. Yeah, because you got it on the charger. Yeah, but it's like, oh, we're farting. What's next? I'm gonna get CJ, steal CJ's food just for my revenge? Yes. yes. Just to get back at him. Yeah, and if he gets pissed at me, it's like, that's what you get for stealing all four of my mac and cheese, dumbass. Alright. So, P9 for us, we'll take P9, even though we should have been P7, but still good points and all that, so. And we also get ahead of. Alpha Tauri and the Constructors by only two points, but uh, next week is going to be a big challenge. The British GP, the race that F1 finished racing in real life. We'll see how we do. And looks like one of our upgrades just failed on the car. And we also just we're going to get a third sponsor. Um, uh, let's see. tell CJ that the Panera Bread mac and cheese is off limits and if he says no then I'm not going to buy any more because I'm tired of my tired of him breaking into my room and not coming and asking me yeah just fucking annoying so I know it is by the time you're watching this on YouTube I've already smacked the shit out of him mm -hmm. you know who I'm referring to and I'm not saying CJ I know um Yes. Um, I'm picking a sponsor. Let's go with this one. Personal stickers. So probably 
Yeah, we're going to have a new livery for the British Grand Prix coming up. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave that blank. Going to put this on here. And then we'll upgrade the car uh, when we get a chance. So, But uh, good result for the team. Uh, didn't expect our team to have a... We need a good result after, you know, after what has been a very interesting start. So next week, as I said, we'll be at Silverstone. Hope you'll join us for... Um, for that but looks like one of our parts did fail on the car and it was this one but at least he'll be on the who No, I'm pissed at him. You're not mad at me, are you? No, I'm pissed at CJ. No, he's not mad at you. Okay. Who do you think I was mad at? A chimpanzee who got raped by a donkey? <laughs> Looks like I don't have anything. Oh, let's sign some activities. Uh, G-Force. Oh, shit. Let's remove that. Let's put this. Need some cash for the team, so so we'll get a sponsor event, G Force training, attend F1 esports yeah, event, just to get some more resource claim and all that. So and uh, hopefully we can get some uh, new stuff on the car. So shit, that failed too. Fuck. More potential partners become willing to work with us. We can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate town. So let's see my freaking that failed, but no worries. Okay, so I'll be on the car for hungry. So Alright, that's finally on the car. The one that failed is now on the car. And that's pretty much about it. So next week we're off to Silverstone for the British GP, the race that F1 just got done racing two weeks ago. But we'll see how we do. Looks like Williams just overtook us in the R&D chart. But we got more upgrades on the way. So we'll see what happens. Uh, coming up next, if you're watching on YouTube, will be the Triple P show. Um, hope you'll join us for that. should be a lot of fun. And then we'll have the British Grand Prix whenever I have the chance. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Should have had 7th, but we'll take ninth instead. But that's about it. If you guys enjoyed it, like, favorite, subscribe. Tell your friends about these videos. Thank you for watching. And take it easy.